Today, we're taking a dive into the sewers, following the story of the famed Fen Street Phantom, who was a serial killer based in Boston, who apparently took up residency in the Fen Street sewer. The story goes a brave detective decided to chase the Fen Street Phantom into the sewer here. And anytime you see a wee chalk mark with an X, that is a body count. He killed so many. Hi! Okay, let's have a listen as we go between. I'll show you any wee hidden items on the way. Here we are, detective. <laughs> if you followed my instructions, you're alone. And well, if you aren't, I've already left. You better be alone. Well, come on in. I've put my work on display down here. And I'd very much like you to see it. So yeah, as you can tell, the detective was told to come in alone. Now the place probably wasn't full of ghouls, but it was certainly full of victims that the Fen Street Phantom had gathered. And you can see he is very creative with the way he lays things out. Also the voice acting, phenomenal. I want you to appreciate your surroundings. I can only be myself in a place like this. Life up there is exhausting. Every day you smile at people who don't care about you one way or another because that is what you do. Down here, I really get to live. I'm happy to share it with you today, detective. He gets a little more deranged as time passes, and you can find there's many, many places. This appears to be some sort of hobo or homeless person who maybe survived the Phantom. No, he didn't. Phantom chalked him up, and uh, <laughs> he could have been the first victim. Now, this is where things get a little mad looking. His victims were everyone. At least he didn't discriminate in a sick way. Voltec lunchbox can be found, and the remains of plenty of prams, women, and children there. Well, it's implied. Moving into the, one of the rooms, we can find the third hollow tape to have a listen. I am getting so anxious about our meeting, detective. You know, I think I have only ever wanted someone to know me. And really. I can't think of anyone who knows me as well as you do. I am your object of fascination, and you have become mine. It's humbling, detective. Yeah. You can even get a dog collar on this particular skeleton, who I can certainly say was one of the super unlucky ones. And again, if you've been keeping count, uh, he's probably killed at least 30 people so far. That we can see. And there's more as we continue on. We'll actually show you the final resting place of the Phantom as well. Something most players never see. So when you're into the final room, we can hear Det Dear Detective 4 Bingo. and the tumblers today. That'll make uh, lockpicking a lot easier. Let's have a listen to this. I didn't want to hurt you, Detective. I didn't want to hurt you, but you, you hurt me first. Now, I know you didn't mean those things you said, and I forgive you, detective. It doesn't matter anymore. Now, you're here with me. <laughs> and we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. <laughs> All I can say is we don't really know what he did to the detective, but I'm sure it wasn't good. Now, if you're on PC and you get into this room with the radio and the flamer, behind this is a reference to the movie Things, or should I say The Thing. So just use the TCL command, and you'll want to float yourself into the little room. The ham radio is basically just behind the wall there. You can see this head where a load of tippy is, making it into a little bit of a spider thing. But obviously from the movie The Thing, that's exactly what it looks like. I love the Easter egg. I can't believe they would hide it. I mean, I wish you could see it through maybe one of the bricks or something, but no. 
Um, you have to get it at a certain angle, by the way, otherwise it, yeah, goes all white and it's very difficult to spot. Re-emerging back into the room, you'll have to fight a Gloam one. Originally, I thought that was the Phantom, but oh no, according to the wiki and the guide, the Phantom's actually up here. You can find his remains. Is the detective beside him? I, I, I doubt it here. Unless it was a female detective. But yeah, apparently this is him. Although, it could just be another two victims of him. But, I mean, well, the machete and the piece of chalk. Eh, maybe it was him. Anyways, uh, you can't sleep, sadly, <laughs> on his bit. You can also find, uh, wow, a skull on a hot plate. This place is probably one of the most eerie places, but the voice acting's just great. I really, really enjoy listening to the, the Fen Street Phantom. It's, uh, whoa. <laughs> you get a wee bit of a jump scare even going through a guide with a little rad roach. But yes, moving into this room is the one you started in with the wee fisherman you got the XL, got the lunch boxes we got all the skill books detective everything and you look back around and we exit on out once you re-emerge i do want to point out two locations that you may want to visit one is founder's triangle it's got an unmarked diner guarded by super mutants you might find some useful items in there running straight west you can find around the corner guaranteed an explosives box so you could get yourself some grenades that soldier doesn't need it anymore and if we head a little further east there's also a little encampment right over here you can make use of the bed get yourself a bottle cap mine cooking station before looping your way back round to the fence street sewer heading on maybe into the safety of diamond city or more violence around the uh, the parkview apartments which we'll be visiting next Thank you all for watching.